when we create a variable to store value, each value has a certain data type. So first, let's create a variable a and uh, give it a integer uh, value. And uh, if you install this Rust Analyzer extension on your Visual Studio Code, it will show the data type of this variable. And uh, if we double click this, it will insert this data type to this variable. This i32 data type is the 32 bit standard integer data type. And uh, then let's create another variable b. This time we will annotate uh, the u32 data type to this variable and uh, give it a value 6. And um, the difference between i32 and uh, u32 data type is um, standard integer data type uh, can store negative uh, integer number value and the standard integer type uh, can't store negative um, integer value. So if we change this 5 to negative 5, then and uh, it's okay to this standard integer type. If we change this um, 6 to negative 6, and then we will get uh, the error. If we try to print uh, out uh, a is a and uh, b is b and uh, in terminal we cargo run this it will give us an uh, error and standard value can't be uh, negative. So when let's change this value negative 6 to positive 6. And uh, then let's run this again. Cargo run. This time it will show no error message. And uh, print out uh, A is negative 5, B is uh, positive 6. And then let's create uh, another variable to store decimal number C uh, equal to 1.23. And uh, then it will show us the F64 um, type. When we double click this, this F64 type is a 64 bit floating point type. Then let's create another variable D to store a Boolean value. This give it a true. And uh, this will, this type, this type will be bool. And uh, we double click this, this bool this type is a Boolean type. And uh, the Boolean value can only be true or false. So we can change this to false. And let's create another variable e to store single character. And uh, this will be single quotation marker. And uh, we'll put a and uh, between two single quotation marks. And uh, this data type is a char. When we double click this, it show us a, a character data type. And uh, let's create another variable f and uh, give it a string value. String value should be in the double quotation mark, hello. And uh, this shows a uh, upper str. And uh, when we double click this, is this str type is also called a uh, string slash. It's the most uh, primitive string type. So let's print out uh, each value of this variable. C, change this C is C, D is D, E is E, F is F. Then in terminal, let's cargo run. It will print out uh, each value of this variable. So I think this is uh, basically about uh, data type. And uh, hope I'll see you next time.